All right, what time is it? It's re TJ time. It's critter time under the Jeep. Let's talk about steering. We got Synergy under mine. We got Steinjaeger under Rubikids. Let's crawl under these things. Okay, so this is the Steinjaeger steering. Uh, first off, to be noted, you're going to have to drill your spindles out. Those are half inch bolts. You'll have to drill out your pitman arm up here. So, in, I'm thinking it came with the half inch, but this one thing I wanted to let you know that any 18 volt drill or any quarter drill, um, I was surprised how easy these spindles drilled. So don't don't get don't get hung up on that. And I'm thinking Steinjaeger sold the drill bit with it, but either way, it goes through real fast. Um, why did he go with this? Well, we'd planned on putting the Synergy on first because we were pretty happy with it on, over there on mine, but we ran into some fitment issues here. I'm thinking that Synergy said you could not go less than three inches. Now, I believe you can. The more I got looking at it, you would have to trim some stuff, but uh, we chose to go with this, and after it was all said and done, said and done, I think you're pretty happy. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember how that's set up. I don't think this was originally designed to be go to be one on top and one on bottom. I think they're both set up to where both of them are on the bottom. However, uh, with with uh, his combination right here and being able to adjust the track bar, we we're able to go over the knuckle. Now, if you have a four and a half, five inch, you'd be able to do the same. But when you start getting this low, you're going to start coming in with a lot of fitments. Um, dislikes. Okay, no, let's not get to dislikes yet. It's very well built. Very, very heavy. You'll be surprised how well this is built. Um, you're going to have to turn these himes in such a manner to keep it so this bar is oriented in that direction. I do. Okay, that's all the way rocked up. So if you were to bump up against something, that's the movement. I think it's the simplest steering out there. I, I, I have absolutely zero dislikes about it. Everything is 100% positive. I would never switch to anything else. So Really? I don't know what your opinion you, is. You, you're, you're, you probably got some No, I, I'm, I, ten, I tend to be kind of liking a traditional uh, um, greasable end. But, you know, at first were these squeaking? I think they were squeaking a little bit in the beginning, but you don't have any issue mm -hmm. now. Um, just hit them with some white lithium. Uh, everything is the same thread. That's a little bit of annoyance. And what I mean by when you're originally setting your toe in, you're gonna have to pull the bolts out of everything, then give it a turn. So it's not like a traditional uh, tie rod to where one is a left thread and the other is a right thread. So you're gonna have to unbolt everything do your adjustment, put it back together. It takes a little bit longer to get it adjusted. Uh, the tune, okay. I will say one thing as far as modifying this, um, modifying this steering. I think there's a lot more potential as far as you being able to modifying this to make it your own. So if you have to do something kind of wild with it, then I think this is the one to do it too. Um, cause it's just standard, standard tubing. D I, I don't know if it's chromoly or what it is. I didn't look at it, but, uh, yeah. So, and I think it's about a third less than the curry or poly. Go check out the symmetry. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, so this is Curry, uh, not Curry, this is the Synergy. I just was on there. This thing costs Poly Performance, um, like 660. I was really surprised at how expensive it had gotten. It was expensive when I bought it, but, um, now we've resprayed it. It comes in a darker gray. It's just, boy, these things get worked over if you're crawling with them out on the trail. Uh, I do love the joints. This is more set up the way a stock steering would be. It's just heavy duty. And what I mean by that is um, <clears throat> everything's right hand, left hand thread. So it's very simple to set your toe in and your uh, uh, steering wheel alignment. However, we have a few dislikes. Uh, the dislike is 
much the same way as I didn't show you over there with the uh, Steinjager. Um, the drag link, and this one's even more important than the one that's on the Steinjager, but you're going to have to run your, your tie rod end one direction here and then turn the tie rod the opposite direction down at your uh, spindle. What that does is it keeps this from flopping up and down. I don't know if I can move it right here. Just a little bit, okay. I'm actually coming up to um, a stop right there on my tie rod on the on this end. Mm -hmm. And then I'm coming on this end up here. Okay, if, if I have those set loose, this thing will flop up and down considerably. So, I thought at first that that was going to be a big deal, you know, because the tie rods being kind of, they're opposite and destruction show that you're supposed to set it up that way. It's what you have to do. If you hit, if I hit a rock right here, which I do quite often, this thing will get jacked way up. So I've learned that we take a, um, a crescent wrench to the trail. That's easy. We just got to get a hold of that and give it a slight bump down. I don't know. I, you know, on one hand, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm kind of happy that it pushes up out of the way. It does mess your, I don't think the toe is affected that much, but your, your steering wheel's way off when you leave the trail. I'm just giving an honest opinion of the steering that you're gonna have to carry a cr crescent wrench if you're taking this. Um, yeah, there is a crescent hard. wrench slot right there. Yeah, flat spot. Yep. So it doesn't move your tie rod end. It just spins that up. So all you do is just kind of slowly pull it down. I got these things on there as tight as I can. Ah, uh, is there anything else? Incredibly well made. Um, this is, I think, they're proprietary to them their uh, uh, their ball joints and they're they're considered to have some of the best uh, ball joints and tie rod ends out there very nice well machined um, stabilizer uh, piece right there yeah that is that is one thing about mine as I wish um, mine did have a little bit more Class, presentable yeah. yeah but it's tucked up under there and yeah. it's not a show jeep so i really don't care we've spun we've spun your uh your steering stabilizer to where it's up tight out of the way so yeah yeah i don't know and there's no modification needed to the tie rods with this i'm not to the um spindles so you just literally boom and, boom boom and i believe synergy sells that by itself and if that fits over my tube I can literally it doesn't just... it doesn't your tubing is a little bit bigger than this okay yeah, I already looked. I looked. Anyway. Yeah, it wouldn't be it. It won't matter anyways. With what um, you can't even see yours. No. We got yours so tucked up in there. I remember somebody glanced at it and they didn't even think you had a steering stabilizer. In yeah. There. So. All right. What else do we say? Mm, I think that's it. I don't know which one to recommend. I don't. I. I think both are a good option. Whatever. I think whatever lift you're doing is that what is you need true. to choose oh and when i was just on synergy they have a site that's much or it's much more detailed stating this is what i was gonna say if you look right here um if you can imagine as this is four and a half inches as you lower this you're gonna start running out of room for your threads so i mentioned to someone you know i'm not i'm not advising them that it can be done but I'm just saying, if this could actually be shortened just a little bit for your uh, um, three inch and under lifts, mm -hmm. that's what it would take uh, to yeah, fit yeah. this, fit this in there. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. You know what? Let me grab a crescent so they know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you own this, oh my goodness, I can tell you. You're gonna buy yourself a big crescent wrench, but well, if you do jeeps in the first place, you should have. A you're gonna one. need it. A lot of times, if I run up against and hit a big rock, this is what the steering looks like. All right, let's get the 
<laughs> can 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 you really see what it looks like? Let me zoom out. Come from a side angle. I yeah. think I, I th back up a little ways. I, I'm not you sure. You can definitely see it. So, and then my steering wheel's all cranked up. So, it's only changing. Literally, it's only changing the. Um. Oh, what is this? The drag link. But we live in uh, Realville, so we're just being honest with you. Oh, I do like this. This is a little bit cleaner than what the curry is. A lot of people swear by the curry. Uh, I can't remember why I didn't go with it. There was a couple things I didn't like a, like about it, but since I've personally not ran it, I don't know. I can't tell you one way or the other, but so the one big issue with this Synergy is that it bends up out of the way, mm -hmm. but then the plus side is that it bends up out of the way, so you're not damaging anything. Yeah. Uh, durability, I don't want to say one's stronger than the other because this one's built heavier but there's if it if it if you land this one on a rock they have it built so heavy that it's you know, like literally can lay on it this one here is just a little i mean i don't want to say it's built lighter but it under a hard hit it's just going to bend up out of the way and uh you just pull it back down with a crescent wrench so i don't know I don't really, I personally, he may be different than me. I can't say I have a favorite because I see flaws in both, both of them. Yeah. Everything has flaws though. So. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. All right. That's the video. Let's call it. See ya.